I like to make is that connection is more important than content, right? So our job as nature guides is to spark that connection, right? So what I do as a nature guide, first thing usually, is I will ask them, why did you come? What do you want to see? Especially for children. So there is no such thing as a stupid question. And there is also no stupid answer. I think teaching them respect for nature at a young age will stay with them for the rest of their lives. You know, there are too many kids who have been taught to shout at animals or stamp their feet or chase them away. Uh, I think the ones that we've worked with will never ever do that. So at least they have that basic respect for nature and that's all you, you can ask for really. What they do with life, that's up to them. But respect nature, there's no argument about that. The whole message rides on your level of enthusiasm and your energy. If it's flagging, if you don't feel in a good space and not feeling well, your delivery will suffer. So you have to keep your energy up, you have to keep your knowledge and your enthusiasm up. A child interaction to an exhibit and an elderly interaction to the same thing is completely different. And, and I learn how to look at their faces to see whether they know what I'm talking about. And when, guide, when I do guide families or a whole strata of different age of people, I learn a lot from their interaction with me because I pose a lot of questions back to them, not only just telling them about an exhibit. So therein lies the learning process of still learning, I'm still learning on how to be able to engage them in a better way. Yeah, I also get people to, to become more aware of their senses, you know, like calls, look at colours, look at textures, or feeling textures. So yeah, very tactile, I think it's, it's uh, important to incorporate that into a nature walk. I have things coming out of my bag, things that help me in my uh, interaction with the uh, participants on my walks. So it could be a mold of a cicada lava, it could be a seed, preserved fruit. All these things are quite useful to promote hands-on. So things that they can safely handle and look and study. Yeah, so always my cicada, my dead cicadas are very popular. Children are naturally curious about uh, nature, about the natural world. So you should take the opportunity to share with them the uh, incredible biodiversity of planet Earth, of uh, Singapore. We still have a lot of incredible biodiversity here uh, to, to learn more about them, to cherish and to uh, protect them.